Hey guys, Captain Collector, welcome back to my channel. So my tripod has always been kind of broken. We finally either gave it away or donated it, thinking that we had one for backup. It turns out the backup is also kind of broken. It's very old, it's super sticky, and we gave that one away too. And so when I went to film this video, I didn't realize I didn't have a working tripod. I just placed an order for a new one, but it's not going to get here until another week or two, and I just couldn't wait to film this video, because here we have the 1-6 scale Janeway and EMH from Exo6. I'm so excited to get this. I got my figures from Time Walker Toys, and what's super cool is that this is actually the case for Captain Janeway. Um, so normally this box would contain six figures of Janeway, and it happens to be cart number 76 out of who knows how many. And so it's just super cool to, to see the case containing the figure that I actually purchased. But it's been resized to fit my figures. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get this open and see what I got. Oh my gosh, they're here. I can't believe it. Wow, so cool. Okay, so I think um, this figure right here, XO01004, this is for Janeway. And then this is probably for the EMH. I didn't realize he was um, announced so much later. He's got a much, a much larger number. Um, let's go and take out the paper. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Wow. So this is the shipper box for Janeway. Um, I'm surprised to see that it's made in China. I remember from the X6's website that they said that they would be made in America. And so um, maybe like a select few are made in America and the rest are kind of made in China, which makes sense because like X, um, Time Walker Toys was saying how they had to wait for their shipment from overseas, and I was like really confused about that. So that's Janeway's figure, or her a shipper actually. And then here's the EMH. Also very plain, very plain shipper box. I'm sure the box art is much more exciting. So we'll go ahead and get those opened. And be right back. Here are the art boxes for the figures and their plastics. Super cool. They have like a generic Voyager crew on the side um, and then pictures of the actual figure on the front of the box. Not much on the side, just Voyager Star Trek and then some details and, um, and a pose for each figure on the back. I'm so excited for these and like I know they announced Tuvok and Seven of Nine in her red or maroon uniform so... Oh my gosh, look at this side box art. That's so cool. It's so gorgeous. So it looks like, okay, it continues from this front. So, so we have Janeway and the Doctor. And then uh, on the top row, we have Balana and Tuvok. And then uh, in the middle row, we have Neelix. Harry Kim and Chakotay, then Tom Paris, and then Seven of Nine. Ah, so amazing! I'm so excited to get the whole crew. I don't know if they're going to make Kess, but I hope so. Okay. Wow, this box is so amazing! Okay, I know the boxes don't really matter too much, but... Um, the actual Star Trek wording and Voyager is like in this shiny material very metallic finish for those and also the delta and the outlines so all the silver stuff is a very metallic-y oh my god this is so amazing okay let's get the doctor out Here's their art boxes without the plastic. 
They look amazing. And so it says, Captain Catherine Janeway and the Doctor Emergency Medical Hologram. Okay. How are we going to do this? I don't know. Oh, wow. Okay, so it looks like... Uh, what do you call these, like, sleeves? And then the figure should be right underneath. And there she is. It's kind of hard to see with the glare. But we'll get these figures out anyway. Here's all accessories. We have the tricorder, type one phaser, type three phaser on the left, uh, a pad, a clothes pad, switch out hands, and there's probably a base at the bottom or maybe underneath the figure somewhere. Go ahead and open up the doctor, get the sleeve off. I'm sure the glare is very bad. It looks like the base is underneath the figure. Yeah. We have switch out hands. Here's the doctor space sculpt. We have the hypo spray, the data pad, a closed pad, a uh, closed tricorder. Super cool. We're going to go ahead and open these next. Yeah, this, that view looks really bad. A lot of glare. Okay. Uh, just the back of the box, we have credits. So we have the executive producer, director, sculptor, paint master, costume production, engineer, photographer, marketing director. It's so amazing. I hope they make the whole crew. Okay, so we just removed the doctor from the art box. And actually, in the art box, there is the the card, the display card that can be um, placed in front of the doctor or next to the doctor. It says Starfleet Museum Archive. It has a registration and picture of USS Voyager and it says the doctor, emergency medical hologram. And it's this kind of like um, a little bit transparent. You can kind of see my fingers through it. And then it was taped to the back of the box um uh, behind the plastic of this so that goes with the doctor so here's jane ways the same image and registration and it says captain Catherine jane way on the bottom and so this is a, a display card you can put next to the figure so here are the two figures out of the shipping box out of the art boxes There's still a lot of plastic but now you can kind of see a little bit more clearly the accessories. Removing the plastic cover and we have the figures still in more plastic. But oh, you can even see the coffee mug. I might have mistaken that as something else. You can see more of the accessories in detail. Super cool. So you just kind of open this. You can get the figure out. Oh my god, I can't believe I have this in my hands right now. This is so amazing. Wow. It's so beautiful. Okay, let's remove all this plastic. And then we have the base. And they are designed to look like transporter pads, which can connect to each other, which is super cool because then you can kind of like, you know, customize it and however large your display area is. So the transporter pad actually comes with like a, maybe a switch out image. So it originally has this blue one and it's got this protective film on it. 
but I think I read that you can switch out the image. So here's the figure. It looks amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a bunch of poses and then we'll take out the doctor next. So here we have the first pose. This is actually from Exorcist's website. And this is Janeway with her coffee mug. So Janeway is super notorious for always ordering black coffee. So how could I not pose her with her coffee mug? And this is as if she's has a coffee in hand and is expecting to receive a report from someone. I love this pose so much. It's just very dynamic. Um, you can kind of see movement in the way her legs are kind of bent forward and walking. It's as if she just got her coffee from the replicator and she's expecting a report from someone. Yeah, this might be my favorite pose. But for the next pose, we have Jamie with her type one phaser, a slightly different stance with her body kind of more cautious. Um, it's as if she's walking down the halls of the ship looking for an intruder or something. And I didn't realize it, but this figure actually comes with a type one phaser holder. And so you can place the phaser in the holder, which attaches to her uniform. And then for the last pose, how could I not try something with the type three phaser? This weapon is so iconic. I just had to try a pose with this one. This is as if she's infiltrated the Borg Queen ship, searching for Seven of Nine, equipped with her Type 3 phaser. For this pose, I actually had to detach her hands, place them on the grips of the phaser, and then put them back into the wrists. Okay, so there's still a ton of more accessories. Like, they have so many switch out hands. Um, I didn't even try the, the pad yet or the tricorder. So the tricorder is actually magnetic. And uh, it's in the close position now. And then you can remove this part. And it's magnetic. You can be totally separated. And then it'll be an open tricorder. So yeah, a ton of accessories for her. Um, I had trouble getting her these hands on her waist. It might just be kind of a, a joint mobility kind of a thing that I need to work on. But she's super cool. Okay, we'll get to the doctor next. So here's the figure for the EMH. I think it looks really good. figure and then he comes with not as many hands as Janeway. The same transporter base. Uh, we also have the pad. Might even have a different diagram. I'll have to check on that. Uh, we have the hypo spray. I think even a I think replacement colors for the hypo spray. You can change the bottom color of orange to I think it looks like red, green, and blue. And then we have the same tricorder. Oh yeah, so like the EMH's pad has the, a body. And then this was Janeway's pad, which has an image of Voyager. So it's super cool, you know? They actually made them different for the different characters. Let's look at the tricorder. So I'd be surprised if this is actually different as well, but it's probably the same. So yeah, this is the same tricorder as we got with Janeway's. So for the first pose of the Doctor, I have him holding both the pad and the tricorder. And I'm not sure if there's a specific hand to hold the pad. It didn't seem to grip the pad too firmly. It's just sort of like just through balancing it in his hand that I could get it to be like that. But this would be as if he's scanning someone trying to figure out what's wrong with them, and then receiving a data pad. And he comes with a hollow emitter already attached to his arm. 
So the next pose, we have a very confident doctor. I actually got this from Exo6's website as well. He's very confident in his medical abilities, and he's holding the hypo spray, and also gave him a closed fist on his left hand. So for the last pose, he's holding the hypo spray and a scanner, which is something I think he he does more often. The last pose where he's really confident, it's on the website, but I actually don't really imagine him in that pose very often. This one I think is more common, where he's scanning someone and then about to administer the hypo spray. So for that last pose, I switched out the hypo spray color from orange to green. And it was actually through, um, it just held in place through friction, so no magnets at all. But there's just a ton of accessories, a ton of hands. So lots of pose ideas. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.